In the previous session, we have learned how to transform the column values into row level values using the union all operator. Now, let's see how we can do this using the unpivot analytical function. Here it is, see, select the column names from the table where the values are present and then unpivot and then you are saying total amount. This is the column for which we need to fetch the values. We need to fetch the values for the total amount column from these five columns. That is why we said for product ID in and in the brackets we provided all the list of columns. We are saying for total 100 column transform into 100 product ID, total 101 transform into 101, total 105 transform into 105, total 106 transform into product ID 106, total 200 transform into product ID 200 and also return the corresponding value to the column total amount. You see how easy it is you are providing the list of values for the product ID. That's it. The job is done. This will take care of transforming the column values to row values. Okay, let's check it out. So let's select sales month product ID and the total amount. So we don't have product ID and total amount in the sales pivot table, right? We will be deriving these column values from the unpivot analytical function. Okay. So now unpivot. Okay. So in the bracket. So now we are saying total amount values should be fetched from. So for that. So for product ID in. In the bracket, now I will need to mention all the list of calls. So it is total 100 as 100, comma, total 101 as 101, comma, total 105 as 105, total 106 as 106 comma total 200 as 200 so bracket close and another bracket close that's it so now let me run this that's it you see all the column level values are transformed into row level you see how easy it is to transform the column level values into row level using the unpivot analytical function Okay, so next time whenever you are transforming from rows to columns or columns to rows, remember the pivot analytical function and the unpivot analytical function. Okay, and in most of the interviews, you will be asked about this question. How do you transform rows to columns or columns to rows? So you need to know about these various ways how to achieve that. Okay.